Hey everyone, this is Mike Burkholt with uh, Cobalt, and I just wanted to give you a quick recap on something that I just uh, discovered. Um, I was out over at a Highline dealership, and this dealership was talking to me about their top salesperson. It was so exciting, 80 plus units a month. Um, and, I, and I asked them, well, well, how's their CSI? Well, the, it's not too good. It's like, well, how about the reviews? Are the reviews really good about this person? And they said, well, no, she has the worst reviews out of anybody and the most reviews out of anybody and just about every single one of them are negative um, and it's really giving us a bad reputation. Well then I asked them, I said, well how do you justify calling them their, your top salesperson just based upon units? Uh, what makes somebody a top salesperson is not necessarily uh, how many cars they sell but really with the overall experience that they give a consumer. Uh, we take a look at it and then I asked them, I said, take a look at the context of why they're their top salesperson. And I said, well how does she manage her leads? Where does she get her leads? He said, well she's the least manager and she manages the lease portfolio. Ah, so people are forced to have to work with her. Well, yeah, is basically the answer. So when, I, when you take a look at what makes a top salesperson, evaluate. Take the context of why they are the top salesperson. Take a look and manage, you know, their reviews, their CSI, their units, their gross, if you are paying off commission and what their gross profit averages are, all these pieces contribute to making a top salesperson, not just units. It, the time has come that we need to evaluate the overall efficiencies of a dealership and what makes the best the best. Um, that's just my little quick minute and 39 seconds. Um, I'm in LA right now on a beautiful sunny day, uh, having a little bit of a coffee refreshment. Have a great day, my friends, and uh, go auto marketing. Bye-bye.